Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna be showing on how to make two glitch outfits. So the first glitch outfit, you would need orange augers. And if you do not own orange augers, I'm gonna put a link down below in the description on how to get orange augers, okay? So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing, guys? Gang, good luck for tomorrow and the rest of the week. Join the family, let's not waste any more time, and let's get straight into the video. Okay, guys, so make your way to the clothing store with your orange joggers so guys once you're there go to the top section go down to sweaters and once you're on sweaters scroll all the way down to you find the black turtleneck it is called the black turtleneck after you purchase the black turtleneck continue to stay at the top section go down to utility vest it's all the way at the bottom once you're on utility vest guys you will need to purchase the body armor I purchased, okay? It's exactly, it's an all white one. Purchase the all white body armor, okay? So once you purchase the all white body armor, make your way over to the shoe section. Okay guys, so once you're at the shoe section, buy the shoes I purchased, okay? Go to sports shoes and purchase all white sports shoes. Purchase these all white sports shoes and make your way over to this part. You see where this uh, little section is, where the jackets are? Go to the accessories, go down to gloves, and purchase black tactical gloves. Purchase these and make your way over to the mask store. Once you do arrive at the mask store, buy the exact same mask I purchased, okay guys? This part's really easy, okay? So it should be a skull mask, okay? So after you purchase the skull mask, you will need to continue to stay at the mask store. Buy this one, the skull knit mask. And after you purchase this one, move over to the left side, go down to combat helmets, and purchase the combat helmet I purchased. It's basically going to match our orange joggers. So go down to combat helmets, scroll all the way down, and you will need to purchase the tiger quad lens. Purchase the tiger quad lens, save this as an outfit. And request your terabyte and register as CEO or MC. It doesn't matter which one you prefer. Just register as either one. And once you do call up your terabyte, make your way inside of your terabyte. Go to this touchscreen device. Push right on the D-pad. And go to client jobs. And once you're on client jobs, start up robbery and progress. Start up the robbery and progress. And this part, guys, basically all you want to do is scan through the cameras and locate where the bank is getting robbed. So that's where the duffel bag will be located. And it doesn't matter which bank that's getting robbed, the mission will still work. And if you do die during the mission, the glitch will still work, okay? So basically make your way to the bank that's getting robbed, any bank that's getting robbed, and basically make your way over there, kill off the police officers, kill off the juggernaut. And this guys, there will be two robbers inside of the bank. So kill off the two robbers, Pick up the duffel bag, basically lose the cops. I always call this to lose the cops or unless you want to go hide and lose the cops. So after you lose the cops, make your way over to the yellow drop off point with a flying vehicle. It doesn't matter which flying vehicle, just make your way over to the yellow drop off point with a flying vehicle. This part's very, very simple. So once you're at the yellow drop off point, all you will need to do is jump out of your flying vehicle. And that's when you will need to open up your parachute and basically glide into the yellow drop off point it's fine if you do not land directly into it on this part i didn't even land in it i landed like really close but it's fine if you do not land directly in it so try to land in it or around it or near it but once you do land into the yellow drop off point your black duffel bag should disappear off your character that's fine so once it does disappear your mission should be completed and once it is complete Make your way to the closest ammunition store. Okay guys, for this part, go to the front counters and go to the parachute. Go to parachute bags and you will need to purchase the Israel troop bag. It's a blue and white one. It has a star on it. It is called the Israel troop bag. After you purchase that one, back out from the counter, equip it on through the interaction menu. And for this next part guys, you will need a flying vehicle once again. It doesn't matter which flying vehicle, just make your way over to the mass store with your flying vehicle. On this part, you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle like this 
And that's when you open up your parachute and you would need to glide into the mask store. So you know where the masks that are on top of the shelves. So all you want to do is make your character fall completely into the mask store. So once he does fall completely into the mask store, that's when you spam right on the D-pad continuously till the mask store opens up for you. Continue to do it till it opens up for you like this. I'm going to keep on spamming it till it opens up for me. Once it does open up for me, that's when you save this as an outfit at least one time, back out from the mask store, and walk away from the mask store at least 10 or 15 feet, and open up interaction menu, go to style, and apply the saved outfit we just made, and your black duffel bag should appear like this. If you're wondering on how to change your outfit again, so basically just easy way out and your black duffel bag should disappear and you will be able to change your outfit. And if you do want the black duffel bag again, just basically apply the saved outfit and your black duffel bag should reappear again. But yeah guys, let's not waste any more time and let's get to the final second glitch outfit. So guys, with this glitch outfit, you will need to make your way to any clothing store on the map. Honestly, it doesn't matter which one, they all have the same clothing. So guys, once you're there, go to the front counter, go to Diamond Casino Heist, scroll all the way down to Refuse Collectors, and purchase the pickup. Purchase the first pickup one, back out from the counter, and make your way over to the top section. Go to the top section, and once you're there, scroll all the way down till you find the Overcoat Blazers. And once you're on overcoat blazers, click the no top, the first one. Apply it. Once you've done that, make your way over to the pants. Go to jeans and purchase the jeans I purchased, okay? It's going to make the outfit look really amazing. So once you're on jeans, purchase these, the black fitted, and make your way over to the shoes. We're going to buy some fresh shoes that make the outfit look really amazing. Go to arena war shoes. It's all the way at the bottom. It should be 14 out of 14 number. And once you're at the Arena War shoe, scroll all the way down and purchase the black and red light ups. They are called the black and red light ups. After you purchase these, make your way over to the accessories side. So there's the accessories over here at this corner if you're at the exact same store as me. So once you're there, guys, go down to the scarf section and purchase the scarf I purchased, okay? You will need to purchase the red scarf. Basically save this as an outfit after you purchase the red scarf and you will need to make your way over to the mask store. Once you do arrive at the mask store, go down to the crime section, purchase the black stars and stripes t-shirt. Purchase this one, save this as an outfit and continue to stay at the mask store. So just move over to the mask store, like the left side of it. And once you're there guys, Go to the combat helmets. So scroll all the way down to the combat helmets and purchase the black and red quad lens. It is called the black and red quad lens. Purchase that one. Back out from the mask store. Apply the saved outfit we just made and make your way over to the pier because there's a telescope right next to the pier. So we could do the telescope glitch. Okay guys, so the telescope glitch is very, very simple to do. So once you're there, Basically, all you want to do is run past the telescope and push right on the D-pad and that's when you pull away from the telescope and your mask should disappear after your character's face like this. So guys, once your mask disappears off your character's head, open up your interaction menu, go to style, go down to accessories and cycle through the helmets till you find the black and red quad lens. After you find it, Back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your outfit should look exactly like mine. If it does, you would need to make your way over to the ammunition store. Okay guys, so for this part, you would need a black duffel bag for this next glitch. Okay guys, so once you're at the ammunition store, go to the parachute, go to parachute bags and you would need to purchase the Israel troop bag. It is a blue and white one with the star. Purchase it back out from the front counter, equip it on through the interaction menu, and basically go to the part where you can save this out as an outfit, like this right here. You can save this as an outfit right here. So save this as an outfit. For this next part, guys, you would need an outfit with the black duffel bag. So apply the outfit you have with the black duffel bag. 
So if you do not have a black duffel bag, I'm going to put a link down below on how to get a black duffel bag as well. So guys, I have a black duffel bag on this outfit. I'm going to apply it. Once you do apply the outfit with the black duffel bag, make your way over to the mass store with any type of flying vehicle. Fly really high near the mass store. Jump out of your flying vehicle like this. And that's when you open up your interaction menu. Go to style. Cycle through the outfits and apply the saved outfit we made at the ammunition store. Once you apply it back out from the interaction menu. And on this next part guys, you would need to just glide into the mass store for this part. So all you want to do is basically make your character to tumble completely into the mass store. So once he does fall completely into the mass store, that's when you continue to spam right on the d-pad till the mass store opens up for you like this. I must keep on spamming right on the d-pad till it opens up for me like this. Once it does open up for you, save this as an outfit, back out from the mass store and walk away from the mass store at least 10 feet, apply the saved outfit we just made, and you should have the black duffel bag on this outfit, exactly like mine. If you did mess up on transferring the black duffel bag, so basically apply the saved outfit, you have the black duffel bag, get on your flying vehicle once again, and just repeat the steps about applying the saved outfit if you messed up on that part. But if you did not mess up on this part, you should have the saved outfit looking like exactly like mine. But yeah, guys, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below if y'all guys want more outfits like this. And comment below if you want more color joggers. But yeah, guys, catch you on the next GT5 online video. Peace.